everyone, welcome, Dom here, and the time has come. In this video, I'm going to play for you the best choir libraries that exist out there. I'm going to play them live so that you can hear how they sound, so that you can choose your next choir library. Right after this. So I decided to make this video by popular demand. I know that many of you have requested about this in the comments and you have reminded me about this, but I wanted to make this right. So before I even begin, I want to jump straight into the sounds, but I'm going to explain what this video is going to be and what this video is not going to be. So what I'm going to show you in this video is my favorite choir libraries that I've used for many, many years, and I think they all have a very distinct character and something different to offer. Obviously, all these libraries have their own specific features, so I'm going to show you where they shine, in my opinion, how I use them, and I'm going to try my best to give you the best impression for each library. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into all the features of each library because then it would be a review video. If you want me to make a review video for any of these libraries, let me know in the comments down below. The second thing I want to say is that I'm only going to show you dedicated choir libraries. So if there is a choir inside an orchestra or something like this, I'm not going to go through these because then the video would be way, way, way too long. It would be like three hours or something. And the first library is the East West Hollywood Choirs. I'm going to play straight away. I mean, what can I say? This is actually not the Hollywood choirs, but the symphonic choirs was actually one of the first choirs I ever bought. I remember I was at a NAMM show and a huge deal came out. And I, I remember I rushed to get to a computer to get this. Symphonic choirs were amazing, but Hollywood choirs are on a completely different level. And the biggest thing for this library, in my opinion, is the world builder. If I click on this, you will see that we have the world builder here. And you will see that the text editor looks really strange, all these phrases, and you actually have to learn the phonetic language that it uses, which is called Votox. I'm very comfortable with this because I've been using it for years, so I can very easily write phrases in it. But if you're new to Hollywood choirs, you might find it daunting. You might find it a little bit hard to work with, but there are many, many phrases that you can actually start using, as you can see here. So as you can see, I have some phrases here myself, but there are also English phrases, German phrases, and you can get some examples. But the manual is really thorough if you want to start, you know, creating your own custom words, because this is what this library excels at. If you really, really want the choir to sing the words that you want it to sing. So for this, it's amazing. I've used it many times for commercial projects, and sometimes it's the only choir that works because I have to build specific words. Now I'm also going to play the men's choir. Very expressive library.
And just for the fun of it, I'm going to play both male and female choirs together. Amazing. One thing that I always do when I use this library is I go to World Builder and make sure that I have the same exact phrase on both male and female. And then I try to make sure that I have the exact same number of phrases, so single notes, so that the female and male choir sync with each other. I've also done a music demo in the past for East West for this library, so go on the website to check it out. By the way, I'm going to try and link all the libraries in the description so you can check them out. This video is not sponsored, obviously I'm showing you all those different libraries, so feel free to pick your poison. Now the next library is uh, again one of my favorite libraries ever. This I remember I bought it pretty much the same day it came out, quite a few years ago, I think it was in 2011 that I bought this library. And this is the Sound Iron Olympus Choir. Again, we have two choirs. I think you can get them separately as well. So there's the Venus and Mars. And it has a very distinct sound, this choir. First, I want to start with a legato patch for this one because I love the legatos for the male choir, Mars. And of course I can blend between Oz and M's. I love the sound. I'm going to play now one of the phrase builder patches for Mars. As you can see, we have syllables. We can't create new words, but I never found this as a limitation because it's very rare that I have to write a very, very specific text for my choirs. Let's have a listen. <laughs> fat and the great thing is you can switch all the syllables from marcato to staccato so huge so it's really really huge if i turn them into marcato Again, it will be very different. Amazing. Okay, let's move on to the female counterpart now and this is the Venus. I'm going to play the legatos because I'm in love with these legatos. I've used them extensively for my own productions. Feel free to check my music on Spotify if you're interested. You will find quite a few of those libraries in there. Let me play you one of my themes for the Venus legatos and uh, I will show you why I like them so much.
So what I like about this choir and the legatos that it has is that they make this beautiful glissandos. Oh. They are so expressive and this is one of my favorite libraries when it comes to this. It, because it's so expressive, it's like the singers are so passionate about this glide. This is what I would tell the singers to do if I was conducting them, if I was giving them instructions, so... Not all libraries can do this, okay? Many of them have beautiful legatos, but they don't have this beautiful glide. Sometimes you might not want this glide, okay? So I'm not saying that this is the best sound. That's why I have so many choir libraries. Let's try something else for the females. And in this case, I'm going to use the Poly Sustains Slow Latin. This is also a very specific thing that this choir can do. And basically, you can trigger whole phrases like this. So as you can hear, I can trigger different phrases on the red keys and then play on the right keys. And of course, I can change the layers like this. It's very, very self-explanatory, very easy to use. You can also turn legato on and I like what it does. Check it out. So beautiful, you can play these phrases in real time and you know, they sound so fluid. Especially in the context of an arrangement, I'm telling you, they work amazingly well. Okay, let's start some mercados. Let's move on to the next bunch of libraries and this is a company that in my opinion creates some killer libraries and this is Stress of Sampling. I'm going to show you a magnificent choir called Storm Choir Ultimate. Now I bought this library on the first first version and since then it has developed a lot. Again, I'm not going to go too deep, it's a very deep library like with every library I'm not going to show you all the things that it can do. But on the latest version, it has these ultimate performance patches that I find them extremely useful and playable. So I'm going to show you how they sound, okay? As you can see, we have different syllables here. Again, same philosophy like uh, the Olympus Choir. You can't build your own words, but there's a word builder and everything in this library. So. I mean, it's so good, so playable. I love it. Uh, it's uh, it's a big choir. I think that the previous uh, versions, at least to my knowledge, they were smaller choir, so they had this really, really punchy sound. So I always reach to the Storm Choir to get this punchy choir sound. You know, it's not like uh, you know mellow or anything like that. It's like punch. You know. It's like they really ask the singers to <laughs> hit it hard. But you can do like very, very quiet passages as well now. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm going to stick with the same company 
because they make some really, really nice choirs. Uh, and I'm going to show you something very different. And, and this is the Road Dope. And I'm showing you this because they also have the same way that the sequencer works and all these things. As you can see, this is an ethnic Bulgarian choir, which means the sound is completely different to a normal Western sounding choir. It's very, very different. And you will be able to tell when I play. I mean, it's beautiful. If you look at this expression for this singer. I mean, this is special, right? Uh, let's uh, play a legato now. Amazing. And as you can see, we have a war builder here. You can start building different phrases if you want to. So we have quick words, but you can start building phrases in no time. Then I have another library from Stress of Sampling. Again, not sponsored, I promise, but check it out. This is Wotan. This is a male choir. The female counterpart for Wotan. This is Freya. This is how it sounds. I wanted to give you a quick taste of these libraries. The next two are some really special libraries. These are both from Eduardo Tarilonte. This is Cantus and I mean, this is a monk's library, okay? So this immediately takes you straight into Vatican. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it sounds very much like um, a library that you would use if you wanted to score um, Name of the Rose with Song Connery or something like this. So check it out. So the way this library works compared to the other ones is that for this one, you have these beautiful words, these phrases that are so commonly used in this kind of music and you trigger them with the green keys and then you play them with the blue keys. But the trick is that you can have three versions of them. You can have slow. So let's try Lacrimosa. We can have fast and then staccato. So 
you can get a very authentic kind of Gregorian sound. I can have different syllables, I can have different phrases, so it's very very deep. Again, I don't have time to show you all of this right now, but I want to show you something that's really cool. If you actually play one of these phrases, so let's try Fortuna. So it holds the last vowel and allows you to do an auto legato. So for example, if we go for Deus, I mean, it's fantastic. I'm going to move on to the next library, which is again from Eduardo Tarilonte, and this is Mystica. And this is a similar vibe, it's also a very similar philosophy when it comes to how the library works. Again, I'm going to play some of the phrases, you can see that we have consistency there, which is really cool, so Lacrimosa. I'm going to turn off solo so that we can play chords. and the reverb, I mean, <laughs> it's so beautiful. These, in my opinion, are two libraries that go way, way back in terms of, uh, you know, the sound of a choir throughout the years. And the last library that I have for you today is Voxos from Cine Samples. Again, I chose to show you this library because I think it's exceptional, it's very expressive, it works really well when you're playing live. All these libraries are super important to me that they're playable live because I always play them on the keyboard. I don't care for any choir library that requires me to do lots of, you know, key edit or piano roll stuff. I always like to play my choirs live because this is the most expressive way in my opinion. And if you're, if you're not a keyboard player, I would still suggest that you try and play because most of the times they're not too difficult passages. I mean, you're not going to do any virtuosic parts for choirs most of the times. Let's try the phrase builder for Voxos. So it's a very expressive library, it has the same philosophy like the Cine Strings uh, library, so if you don't know how that works, check my video about the best string libraries. Um, so for this library, if you play low velocities, you get staccatos, and then when you play higher velocities, you get these big mercados. So really easy to play, especially when you get around this philosophy. So again, for this one, we have women, men, we have the word builder, so you can't build your own phrases. I'm going to show you the legatos now. Beautiful legato sections, very fluid, very playable. Uh, I wouldn't expect anything less from Cine Samples. Boys Choir. So there you go, my friends. This was another mammoth of a video, I know, but I hope that now you have a good understanding 
of how these libraries sound when you load them and lay your hands on the keyboard and start playing them and what you can expect, what are the highlights in my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already because these videos make a lot of effort and time to create. They're not sponsored, so any support that I can get from you is highly appreciated. Let me know what you want me to do next. Until next time, have fun and take care of yourselves. Bye!